Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your person, how they might be viewing you or the situation and any possible action that they may take towards you. We're also going to see what lessons need or needed to be learned here and we'll get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. Oh, all right. So we've got the Six of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles and their possible future action, the Ten of Wands. This might be someone here getting something off of their chest, and we see the tower moment. Okay, Leos, this person is definitely going to shock you. There may have been or be some sort of major paradigm shift here. It looks like your person does really want to move forward with you, and if you see in this, in this deck, we see the Six of Swords, a bunch of people working together to push this boat forward. So I do feel like this is about getting on the same page. This is about working together. Let's heal things. Let's move forward. So beautiful energy here. Okay, we have strong Aries Scorpio energy coming through. All right, so we have, all right, the King of Swords. So you might be dealing with an air sign or maybe they have Libra, Gemini or Aquarius in their chart. I like this energy because this is somebody who's coming in. Um, they're diplomatic. They're tactful. Um, sorry, I bumped the camera there. <clears throat> they're diplomatic. They're tactful. This is somebody honest. They're going to come in with authenticity here. I like this. I like this a lot. And this is somebody who's definitely been doing a lot of thinking, but they, they know how they feel is what I'm getting. And we get the three of swords. They may have been holding back. They may have been overthinking, but I don't think they are any longer. And this is somebody that mirrors you in a lot of ways, Leo. But I'm also getting here that they want to heal things with you. Absolutely. They see you as the knight of pentacles. So they see you as hardworking. They see you as steady. They see you as dedicated. Okay. And the six of swords. Okay. It's like you both want the same things. They know that. Or they feel like they know what you want and they want to get on the same page here with you. And we have the, yeah, look at that. This is also... This is the Knight of Swords. Wow. Beautiful. So they're showing up as the King of Swords. You're showing up as the Knight of Swords. There could be a little bit of an age difference here, but you two are absolutely on the same page. And you can see this, this Knight is, is on this Pegasus, right? With these, with these scales. So wanting to balance the scales here of justice, wanting to make things up to you, wanting to get on the same page. This is someone who's been doing a lot of thinking. There's a very strong intellectual connection here. Um, and with the 10 of wands, it's interesting. We kind of get these two towers, right? So this person wants to avoid disaster and they need to get something off their chest. They want a passionate new beginning here. Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna surprise you. They're gonna reveal secrets or true feelings. And the Three of Cups energy in reverse. I'm reading this, Leo, not as third party interference. Although there there might be some truth spoken about you know friends or family members that were you know maybe not not fully on board with this connection or they got some bad advice or maybe you will find out that there's been some sort of interference here. But what I'm reading this more as this person's going to be revealing deep feelings that they don't want you to be single. They want to take this to a two of cups situation. They want it to be balanced. They want it to be union. And we've got this Leo energy coming through right here, um, which is your energy. So I would, Leos, be prepared to be surprised. I feel like this is going to be a very happy, very pleasant surprise here. All right. And, and it's, I think it's going to be reconciliation. I think it's healing of this connection. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos. What else do we need to know about this person? Okay. Empress energy in reverse and Hierophant. Some of you, you, if there is any sort of third party involved, friends, family members, an ex, someone else. I mean, again, you know your story better than I do. And I do think if there is third party here, Leos, you probably already know about it. Okay. It's not going to be like, you know, me dropping a bomb here, but they're, they've, they've either gotten a divorce or a separation or they're leaving that behind, whatever it might be. 
And it could be somebody who is just really under the control of, you know, like family, you know, dogmatic thinking, um, you know, maybe a strict religious background, and maybe you weren't a part of that. I mean, it really could be anything. Um, so it does look like they are, they're going their own way, and that's bringing them right towards you, Leo. Um, yeah, they're seeing you in your Leo energy. Look at this double strength card coming out. Beautiful sign. And, um, you you know, I do think you're going to be a little bit wishy-washy here, Leo. Not because you are wishy-washy, but you are because because of what's happened here. You know, um, an imbalanced solar plexus chakra can be a little bit doubtful or a little bit, you know, not as confident as you as you normally are. With Aquarius energy, this is about playing the long game, Aquarius energy. We have the tower and the star, which is beautiful in the major arcana because it's like this major paradigm shift, a tower moment, a surprise. It can even be a disaster. But right after that, the the fool in the main, or you know, the main character, the fool experiences that, there's the star card, this beautiful being who, you know, gives him a cup of water that sort of makes everything better. You know, you know, so I do feel like there's definitely this beautiful healing and clearing here for you for sure. And um, I think it's I think it's gonna be come as a very beautiful, pleasant surprise for my Leos out there. Okay, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos. What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned here? What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned here, please? All right, so we have parenting. Look at what is working and what needs to be modified. Are you on the same page? Interesting. So for some of you, with parenting, I did get possibly somebody, your person having like very strong, I don't know, like if it's a strict or a very strict ethnic or, you know, religious background that may have been, you know, that, like I said, maybe you weren't a part of, um, or they come from a family that's very close knit or maybe even overbearing. Um, but for others of you, it's just about like this person absolutely wants to get on the same page with you. And you may not have been, you may not have been. And I feel like whatever has unfolded or whatever has happened has led to this paradigm shift um, and to help you get on the same page. So let's see. We also see thoughts, process things logically, but release over analyzing to balance the heart and the mind. Yeah. So that's a message for you. I also think this is a little bit of what your person has been experiencing, Leo. Um, all right. And we have partnering. Accomplishing this together will strengthen support for one another. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, beautiful. So I do think this is this can be um, a beautiful auspicious sign, Leo, about coming together, getting on the same page, getting out of your head, and actually taking action to heal things and make things better. Um, I love this. I, I love this. There's very positive messages here. So let's see. What does this person want you to know at the ego level? What does this person want you to know at the ego level? All right, we have, I don't know what you want. So I do think that they're coming in for that clarity to see like, you know, do you want this? Are we on the same page? And it was my fault, but I blamed you. So they might have, you know, they might have um, blamed you for something that really was going on with them. Again, I'm not getting like cheating or anything like that, but I'm getting, you know, they might have, um, they might have not been very clear about what they wanted. And maybe they accused you of that or something along those lines. Mm. And I do, I like this energy because it's somebody with that King of Swords who's coming in with accountability. Sorry, that's not the deck I wanted to use here. All right, so let's see at the higher, at their, at the soul level, their higher self or their future self. What does this person want my Leos to know? Okay. Hurting you hurt me even more. Yeah, this person feels like you're so connected. And I spend a lot of time thinking about you wishing things were different. Yeah, absolutely. And and they have been in their head, but I do see an energy of taking action, getting something off of their chest, moving forward, um, taking action. So yes, they are going to reach out. Anything else my Leos need to uh, need to hear or need to know about this connection? All right, so this is a soul contract. Your souls have incarnated together by mutual agreement. There's something you must do or clear in this lifetime and greater awareness awaits. And I do think you two are absolutely clearing some karma here and getting on the same page. Okay. 
Self-actualization, you are on the road to achieve your full potential, understand your core strengths and use them to your advantage. Yeah. And you're showing up the strength card twice in this reading. So a lot of my Leos, there may have been a, a you know, you may be on this path to success. And, you know, that is possibly something that was triggering for your person. Maybe they felt like they weren't getting enough attention. Um, maybe there was even a little, you know, I, I don't feel like it's unhealthy, but maybe a little bit of jealousy there or something. Um, so just be aware of that, but keep doing what, what's best for you. You're, you're doing well. Okay. Eight, eight energy with the lion's gate. Sorry, with double strength card 8-8 eight, eight, makes me think of the Lion's Gate energy, which is a lot of abundance and up-leveling. So be prepared to like look good, feel good, maybe a little, a little windfall of money here too, and sharing. Someone may benefit from what you have learned. Reach out and share the knowledge and wisdom you have attained through experience. Yeah, I do feel like maybe this person, I'm not really getting so much that they would be jealous of your success success because I do feel like they're very supportive of you. But they might feel like if you are on the up and up here, Leo, this person might have felt like a little neglected. Okay, they might have had a, like a little bit of a, a little adult tantrum here for some of you. Um, but actually, I think they're going to benefit from like from from your energy, from what you do, um, what you've learned on your, on your journey, whether it has to do with success or not. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the karma angels for my Leos, just to wrap this reading up. And I am going to read from the book here, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Who wants to come through to support my Leos today? Who wants to come through and support my Leos today? All right. And we get Archangel Ariel. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Number five. So fives are about big changes. So Ariel helping to bring about some changes here within this connection. And this is realistic revelation. So the, the lion of God. Oh my goodness. Can we, <laughs> we have three lions showing up here for my Leos. What synchronicity? This card speaks of that which is hidden being revealed. Something that has long mystified you will become clear and it will no longer hold you back. You will discover a new purpose spiritually and materially. Success is in sight. Liberation is at hand. A release from a commitment. The challenge is, are you ready to be free? The lesson is your cage is made by you, so you are the key. Oh, beautiful. So, I mean, some of my Leos, maybe you will be freeing yourself from this connection, but actually I feel like it's about attaining this beautiful freedom within a connection. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Please let me know how this resonates with you down below in the comment section. I love reading how these messages resonate with you. And if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that information is down below. Um, have a beautiful day. Take care.